The onside kick can be the ultimate act of desperation or a risky surprise that swings momentum. But in the early 20th century, the onside kick was a smart way to jumpstart an offense. In 1921, FDR contracted polio, Boeing ditched furniture making for airplane building, and 1,000 Americans died from sleeping sickness. What am I talking about? Onside kicks. Ah. In the 20s, collegiate football was the highest quality of play you could find. And surprisingly enough, one of the top teams was Vanderbilt, who started the 1921 season 6-0, putting themselves in position to compete for the conference title. But next on their schedule was out-of-state rival and defending conference champion, the Georgia Bulldogs. Also undefeated, Georgia boasted the nation's best defensive line. No team had scored when trying to run through the likes of Artie Pugh, Bum Day, and Puss Welchel. The fearsome threesome, Artie, Bum, and Puss. Georgia came into the game favored and showed why in the first half, holding the Commodores to nine yards while putting up 113 themselves. They headed into halftime with a 7-0 lead. That score would remain until the fourth quarter when everything in the world would change forever. Quick history lesson. While the forward pass further evolved American football, at the time it still held some roots from its predecessor, rugby. This included the offense's ability to kick the ball and recover it off the bounce to retain possession. This play was legal as long as the teammate recovering the kick wasn't ahead of the ball at the time it was punted. He had to be onside. He had to be onside during the kick. At the start of the fourth, Vanderbilt picked off Georgia and after a couple deep pass attempts, was forced to punt. Vanderbilt's halfback and leading scorer, Rupert Smith, lined up behind the punter and bolted for the ball once it was kicked. A group of Georgia players allowed it to hit the ground and Smith sailed over them to catch it off the bounds. Once he landed, he raced through them and into the end zone 15 yards away. He stuck around to kick the extra point himself and tied the game at seven, which was how the game would end. Both teams went on to finish the season undefeated and joined Georgia Tech as co-conference champions. Over the years, the onside kick evolved away from its rugby roots because, well, we're Americans. We don't play rugby. We play football with our hands. Hey, if you like this, then that's cool. Watch some more. Give me some like ideas for other ones you want to see. And if you didn't like this, you've probably already walked away from your computer by now. So I don't care. <laughs>